Hello and welcome to my let's play of what uh, a, a random game. I went to uh, a website I'm going to add a link to at the bottom so if, if you want to play this game you can. And it's uh, like visual novels type things. I just was looking around browsing various games online and this one looked fairly interesting. And it starts off, it's called Choices. You are woken up by an alarm clock. Drowsily, you recollect your scattered thoughts. Suddenly, it hits you. It's your first day of school. Your eyes open. After a quick shower, you get dressed in your new uniform. You have big plans for today. A new school, a new image, and hopefully new friends, too. You bite your lip nervously and check yourself in the mirror. Convinced that you can't fix up how you look anymore, you set off downstairs, eat breakfast, and leave for school. Oh, this is kind of cute. I like that tree. So this is it. You're in your school. You step inside. It's not like you've never been inside before, but you've never been inside alone. You look around, slightly disoriented. You know you're in class B, but you can't seem to remember where it is. Hey, are you new here? Someone interrupts you in the middle of your thoughts. You turn around and face them. Who? Okay. What's your name? Zenith. Hello, Zenith. I've never seen you around. What's your name? I'm Rebecca. So you're new? Yeah. Welcome to our school. Do you, like, need help or anything? You look kind of lost. Some help would be great. What do you need help with? I'm in class B, but I don't know where it is. Class B, really? Yeah, why? Well, I'm in Class B. Well, isn't that convenient, Rebecca? What a coincidence, just follow me. She leads you up some floors, through the hallway, and a path of which you might try to map in your mind. Occasionally, she would wave or stop to talk to people, including seniors and juniors. During one of these conversations, you get distracted by a loud bang, which turns out to be caused by a couple of young boys playing with a soccer ball. By the time you turn your back, Rebecca is gone. You stand there, confused. You lost? Um, yeah, I guess so. Where are you meant to go? I'm in Class B. You're new, huh? The rooms are written on your schedule, you know. Oh, oops. The girl scoffs. Well, you're a bitch. Good luck. Um, thanks, bitch. Cynthia. Well, thanks, Cynthia. She shrugs and walks away. I'm not hanging out with you. Hey, Zenith. Rebecca was talking to a new boy, and now, thanks to her, he's looking at you. You approach them hastily. So, this is Peter. Peter nods as a way of greeting. Hey. Hey, it's nice to meet you. They both relapse into conversation with you at the fringes. Soon after, the teacher walks in and class starts. You take a seat near Rebecca. Good morning, class. We have a new student today. Her eyes search a classroom until it finds your unfamiliar face. Ah, Zenith, right? My name is Miss Gillian. Could you please stand up and introduce yourself to the class? Uh, I guess so. You stand up and hope you don't embarrass yourself. So tell me. Oh, so tell the class your name. My name is Zenith. How are you liking school so far? It's cool. Alright, you can sit down. So I guess we can begin class now. 
You hear collective groans from the class as Miss Gillian begins to distribute the syllabus. 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 I don't. I forget how that's pronounced. Finally, the bell rings, signaling the end of class. You finish packing your bag, straighten up. Peter and Becca start walking towards the door. You hurry to follow them, pretty much tailing them for the rest of classes. Most of the time, you find yourself following Rebecca, more talkative of the two. Soon you notice Rebecca and Peter and all their other friends, a blur of faces as you struggle to match names and fa to match names with them. Seems to know, she seems to know everybody. Meh. Back in your old school, you were invisible. If you stick with them, maybe, just maybe, you'll be seen. They didn't seem to mind your presence, enjoyed it even. Soon you find yourself accepting, you find yourself accepted in their conversations. Well, see you later. Where are you going? Oh, I'm going with Kayla and Leo. Oh, sure, see you tomorrow then. Bye. You arrive home and drop your bag near your bed. You're tired, but not worn out. Coming in the middle of semester meant you're a stranger when all the other new kids were familiar already. The good thing is Rebecca found you or you would have been friendless. Your previous school is actually more advanced. At least you understood whatever was being taught in class. You still have homework to do though. You sigh, but you remember Jackson is waiting to hear about your new school. Jackson is a close friend from your previous school and you told him you would keep in touch. Let's Skype with our friend. Oh. Hi, Jackson. What's up? You tell me what's up. How's your new school? It's different, but it's okay, I guess. Met anyone yet? There's a girl named Rebecca. She's pretty nice. I guess we're friends now. Rebecca, huh? You sound unsure. You chuckle. Thanks to her, you won't be alone at school. But you're not sure if you consider her as a friend. Yeah, well, it is just the first day. You tell him more about class and blah, blah. Tell you what's been happening there. He tells you about a guy who tried to sneak into the school playground, a girl whose perfume bottle was smashed on the floor, and a few other stupid things that happened. You have an animated conversation for quite some time. In the midst of your laughter, you hear the phone ringing. I have to go on my sister's play now. See ya later. You pick up your homework, scan through it. You're feeling great after talking to Jackson. Maybe a little tired, far too lazy to do your homework. If you start now, you might need to stay up and finish it. Sacrifice your sleep for homework. Your predictions were correct. You finished your homework quite late in the evening. You didn't get a chance to fool around online or read the book that you've been meaning to read, but at least you finished your homework. You go to bed. Your alarm rings, but you are far too sleepy to wake up. You hit the button and go back to sleep. Unsurprisingly, you wake up late, which means you're probably going to end up being late for class. You run to school. On the way, you see a bunch of whites and blues sitting outside a cafe. Whoa, Zenith. Uh, hi. You look behind her, see Peter, Kayla, and Leo. You are, uh, to your surprise, you see cigarette butts in the ashtray. <gasps> they're smoking. My god, they're smoking. What are you guys doing here? Oh, I'm just hanging out. Why were you running? I thought I was going to be late to class. Well, you're with us now. We might as well go together, right? You glance at Peter and Kayla and wondering, uh, wondering what they might think of this but they were talking to each other. Oh, sure. The five of you walk back to school. As you arrive, you, they start to split up and go to their respective classes. You trail behind Rebecca, but you notice Peter is nowhere to be seen. Uh, where's Peter? She glances at you and shrugs. He's probably with Leo and the others. Oh. You enter the class without knocking, immediately go to your seat. After you walk, 
you walk in after her and feel discomfort as everyone turns to stare at you. You really don't want to spend too much time in front of class, so you just get to your seat. Um, apologize. Miss Gillian sighs and gestures for you to stand. Do you have your homework with you? Uh, yeah. You take out your homework. Uh, that's good. And you, Rebecca? Um, no. Well, that's exactly what I expected. Class laughed while Rebecca looks bored. Zenith just... Zenith just started going to this school and was already proving themselves to be quite responsible, albeit being late. You really should take note, Rebecca. As she turns her back away, Rebecca's tapping you. What the hell? You actually did your homework? You shrug. Damn, and I thought we were both in this together. She slid back in her seat, leaving you wondered if you shouldn't have done your homework after all. Next time, Skillian turns her back, she leans towards you again. Hey, did you want to come with us next time? Sure, I guess. That's great. Come earlier, though. I'll try. The rest of the day passed predictably. You walk alone to your locker. Rebecca, Peter, and Leo are nowhere to be seen. You actually haven't seen them in a long time. They probably got bored of you and left you since you wouldn't really do anything with them. You gotta face it. If they don't think you're cool or in they don't think you're cool or interesting. <clears throat> you did get offended, offered to hang out or party with them before, af before and after school, but it didn't sit well with you. Maybe their activities are too morally, morally ambiguous for you. Hey. Oh, hey, bitch. So you're not hanging out with them anymore. I don't know. I guess not. She looks satisfied. Why do you dislike them so much? It's not that I dislike them. It's just that they're wasting their lives because they're rich and all. Well, at least they've got friends. At, whenever I see you, you're always alone. I don't know why you're feeling so defensive, but since we were the first people in um but since they were the first people you knew in school, you can't really help it. You also felt it also feels like Cynthia is criticizing you, you don't know, or just being condescending. Hey, I do have friends, just not in the school. Why not? She scoffs. What? Since my first day, I've never really been accepted in school. Rich kids go here. Rich white kids go here. Ooh, it's a race thing. I got in because of a scholarship. I'm part of a minority. I don't fit in. Rebecca's not white. Cynthia scoffs. It seems to be a thing of hers, scoffing. Rebecca only fits in because she's so desperate. She's a poser and she knows it. I feel sorry for her, you know. When you came to this school, she hung, she hung around you a lot. She used to do that to me. But her friends didn't like me. Oh. I gotta go. Bye. You stand there unsure of what to do. You barely have any time before class starts. You decide to go. You're in the middle of talking to him with Jackson again. He's been keeping in touch with you, which is m which you are more glad than you can admit. Your phone rings. It's Rebecca. Sorry, Jay. I gotta take this call. Okay. Uh, blah, blah. You pick up the call. Hello? Zenith. Hello? Hello, Rebecca. Oh, thank Jesus you answered. What's up? So, she's really drunk. Do you, I need you to pick me up. I don't even trust myself, right? I do stupid stuff like this all the time. Please, please, please pick me up. I did something stupid. What did you do? Are you at the coffee club? I did something really stupid and now everybody hates me. I'm so stupid. Oh my god. I get calls like this sometimes. 
Ha ha, please come. Okay, bye. She hangs up. Go pick her up. You dress quickly, grab your flannel, and head outside. You arrive at the coffee club where people are from your school are hanging outside and partying. Rebecca is sitting in a chair on the table is sitting on a chair by the table outside when where they usually hang out before school. Let's go. She nods. Do you want to talk about what happened? I punched Kayla. Oh. She laughs, but there was no humor in her. Seemed like a good idea at the time, I don't know. We had a deal, you know. She knew I liked him. Him? Peter, of course. Uh, she's... Be she blink and betrayed me. Then she got really pissed off and I punched her and stuff. Uh, you go, girl. Tell me more. I grabbed her hair and, like, I don't know, I was drunk and angry and confused and she was bleeding and that's the end of it. That's amazing. You're amazing. They kicked me out. I don't know what to do. I hope she's alright. Um, I hope so. You know what? Thanks for listening. Let's get home. Yada yada. You go home. Back to your room. You wonder how she's faring. You call a cab to pick her up and drive her home. Jackson's offline now. You sigh. There's nothing for you to do. You decide to surf the internet and go to sleep, which is probably what I'm going to do pretty soon. You wake up the next day, unsure of what to do. After the events of last night, everything seems blurry and out of place. Checking the clock, you realize that you're late again. You quickly get up and run out of your house. So that's where I'm going to stop this episode of Choices. Thank you for watching. I will link this in the description, and I hope you enjoyed. Have an awesome, beautiful day, and subscribe if you're not subscribed, and like if you, if you like it, I guess. It's certainly an interesting game. I do kind of like the art style.